Hello everybody, welcome to the beginning of an adventure. I'm in a crazy reading slump in the way that I haven't finished a book in like a month and I'm currently reading four books or so and I don't even want to pick them up even though they're for other vlogs. So the last few days I've been kind of updating other vlogs because I was trying to motivate myself to read books for those vlogs so I can finally finish them, but that didn't happen. What did I decide to do? I decided let's start another book, let's make it a very big book just so it's more difficult on myself and let's spend an entire weekend reading like there's no tomorrow. So here we are, hello and welcome to a weekend reading vlog. I'm questioning every single decision that led me to this moment, but hey, here we are, let's do it. This weekend I'm going to be testing out a concept because, you know, my vlogs always need a concept behind it. They don't, but I do these things to myself. My concept this weekend is I love movies that are set in space. I watch them all, except Star Wars and the other one. I don't like if they're like action movies. No, I hate action movies. That is the worst genre of a movie for me. So action movies, no. But all the other ones, Gravity, Interstellar, Apollo 13, The Martian, probably some more. I watch them all and I love them. <gasps> they're so good. I love the plot of stories set in space. However, I have never read a book set in space, except Illuminae, but that doesn't really count. But you can probably already guess where this is going. I'm reading this this weekend, Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. Weir, 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 this person. This is the author of The Martian, the movie that I was just telling you about. That was actually based on a book. I've never read that book, but I watched the movie and it's so good. And only partially because Matt Damon is the main character. <laughs> We're reading this this weekend. This is huge. This is huge. The audiobook for this is 16 hours. I'm in a reading slump. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm gonna spend all the time that I would usually spend on my phone just doing who knows what. I'll just be here. So I won't be replying to Instagram messages, to WhatsApp messages, to anything. I'm not gonna be going on Instagram. I'm not gonna spend hours on YouTube. That's going to be the most difficult one because I love YouTube. I love watching other people's content. <laughs> We're not gonna be doing any of that. I'm not gonna be recording any videos. I'm not gonna be editing any videos. I mean, I'm gonna be recording this vlog, but I also want to watch a few movies set in space because I love it. I might rewatch Interstellar because it was so good. I watched it like, I don't know, a year ago or two years ago with Josh, I don't know. I remember that I was always super dizzy because it goes around a lot in that movie, like the background, like the character is here and the background is just spinning a lot. And I hate spinny things. For me, it was making me very like motion sick. I get to motion sick very, very easily on cars and just in life in general sometimes. So I remember that, that movie was making me very like, whoa, whoa, whoa. but the plot was awesome. So I might rewatch that, even though it's like a three hour movie. But then I also wanted to watch something new. I don't know. We're here all weekend. Today's Friday. We have the whole day tomorrow, the whole day on Sunday. And we're going to do this, my people. I'm in a reading slump. But here we are. Let's get this started. Earlier that day before questions were raised. We are on an adventure because my lunch break is only 45 minutes and I'm out of breath because I was running up and down the house. It's 45 minutes. The shop is like 10 minutes away if I don't get caught up in traffic. So there's 10 there, 10 back. So that's 20 gone. And then like what, 10 minutes in there at least? So that's half an hour, so that leaves me 15 minutes to spare. But I probably already wasted 10. So that's five minutes to spare and I cannot be late because I'm training someone at work as well. Oh my God. So I have the timer going on on my phone for 43 minutes, just in case. And let's see if I manage to not be late, which I really don't want to be. But I'm gonna shut up and put the camera away before it falls. And we're gonna go get the book. How exciting is this? It is very exciting. Okay, bye. Got the book, got lunch, vegan sausage roll, drink, 
and I only have, oh my god, 11 minutes left on my timer. Here's the book and I'll see you tonight for the official beginning of this vlog. This is Audible. Audible Studios presents Project Hail Mary, written by Andy Weir, performed by Ray Porter. For John, Paul, George, and Ringo. Chapter 1. What's 2 plus 2? Something about the question irritates me. I'm tired. Guys, so I just finished the first chapter. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I'm so happy. The sense of humor, it's so good. So basically, I don't know, maybe this vlog is going to be spoilery. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to happen. But I mean, I always consider that things that happen straight away in the book are not really a spoiler because you're going to read them straight away, right? It's not like I'm telling you how it ends. But on this chapter, we start following this guy who wakes up. Now, we know he's in a spaceship, but he doesn't know that himself. So he wakes up, he's all alone in this room. He doesn't know his name, he doesn't know what he's due. And he feels really um, weak in the beginning, he, he can't even speak. He doesn't know anything, he doesn't know what's going on. And he's just trying to remember. And he's looking around the room and trying to assess things. And just put one and one together and try and realize what things are and how does he know certain things and it's really funny because he looks at things and he, he remembers like the technical term of them or what they're used for or he remembers these very advanced math questions and problems and equations and he's like why do i know these own things so it's really funny the way he's talking to himself about what's happening or at some point he hurts himself and instead of going like what the fuck he went like what the fudge and then he reacted like, fudge, why did I just say fudge? Like, what the hell? And then it was like, maybe I have kids or maybe I'm just very religious. <laughs> I'm loving this. The humor is right on point. This is excellent. Oh my God, I'm, I have goosebumps about what just happened. End of chapter three, he just reached the conclusion. He's like, running exams and at the same time he's remembering things from his previous life and he's remembering the studies he was doing before going into this spaceship or whatever it is but at the end of chapter three it just reaches a conclusion <sighs> i got goosebumps oh my god <sighs> I wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again The fuck's wrong with Hello, it's 10pm and I'm getting super super tired Also, I have my NASA sweatshirt so everything is in the team I'm on page 88 I don't have a bookmark, so I'm just having the receipt So I read Quite a bit. I mean, 88 pages in one day for someone who's in a reading slump. Now, I'm like halfway through a chapter. And I was trying to push until the end of the chapter. But there is a lot of scientific explanations in this chapter. And I was dozing off to sleep. So I'll probably just go back two or three pages and keep reading from there. Because I really want to catch up on the scientific explanations. And I really like the way it's do, done in this book. Because I know nothing about science, right? So I don't know if these things are actually true in real life. I'll just assume they are. So they are explained and they seem very complex. But at the same way, they are written in a way that just a regular human being like you and me, we can understand what's happening. And we do the discoveries at the same time as he does because he doesn't remember them. So he's like talking to himself through the process of finding out things. So it goes like, all right, so this, ha this cell has water. What does it mean? It means, oh, maybe it means that the water will keep the temperature steady. 
you know what I mean? Like he is thinking to himself and we are following along that, which makes it very easy for us, the normal reader, to understand these scientific explanations. Now, I'm sure some people will probably not enjoy that, but I'm a science girl, so I like that and I'm enjoying that and I'm really, really enjoying this book. Now it's 10 p.m. I'm just going to get ready for bed. I'm going to take the book upstairs with me, maybe try and finish the, the chapter at least while I'm in there. I just got into bed and usually this would be the time where I would sit here and go on my phone and turn off the light and, and slide down a little bit in bed, keep going on my phone, change between YouTube, Instagram, back to YouTube, go on my subscriptions, go on the recommendations, usually end up in a really weird place, either on YouTube or on Reels, but like, you know, when the suggestions keep like suggesting weird things after weird things, that's usually how my nights end up. Today we are a new person and instead of that I am going to grab the book and keep reading. I want to finish that chapter like I said. By the way, this was the last copy they had on the store and the cover jacket is ripped here in the corner at the back. It's not that I don't mind because if there was another copy available I would have got the other one instead but this one was the last one and I was like Am I gonna make this prevent me from making this amazing content for you guys? No. And I'm glad that I didn't because even though when I'm holding the book it gets really annoying because it's exactly... You probably can hear so you keep jumping at the door. But it's exactly where I have my hand holding the book so it gets a bit annoying so I might just remove the cover jacket for while I'm reading. But at the same time, I'm so happy that I'm reading this book because it's so good, I'm really enjoying it. I don't understand Someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done I'm a drink at this page Good morning everyone, happy Saturday, it's half 8 a.m. I'm on page 120 of the book, loving it. Read like I read like three more chapters or so last night in bed and now we are dressed and ready to go take Miku to her puppy training. It's one hour and then we shall be back and get some more reading done because I'm really really loving this. Oh man, what a rough start to the day. It was absolutely pouring down with rain at the puppy training, so I didn't get any clips because I don't want to get my phone wet. But it was like proper pouring. I got so soaked. Got home, ran a load of laundry, got changed, chilled with the doggos for a minute, and now I'm finally going to go back into reading my book. Yay! I also have a bowl of porridge behind me for breakfast even though it's already almost 11 a.m but yeah my hair got all disgusting because of the rain so i'm just gonna keep my ponytail on even though i washed it yesterday let's get reading it's just before 3 p.m i may or may have not taken a nap i did take a little nap i was very tired after reading but you know we have to go easy because let's remember I'm still in a reading slump and I haven't been the person that drinks a lot recently so taking a nap is okay. So I did take a nap with Miku on the kitchen sofa and now as you can see we're in the car and we're gonna go on an adventure. I'm going to grab ooh, bump. I'm going to grab one of those magic bags from Too Good To Go. I have done a video with Natasha in February where we showed you the app Too Good To Go which is basically where you can grab, where you can buy what they call the magic bags and they are bags from restaurants or cafes or supermarkets even sometimes that they sell at a very reduced price and it's to help with the food waste. Great idea, right? Um, in that video I showed you a few. This one that I'm getting is from a new place that I haven't got a bag from there before. I have never got anything from there before, but it's just around the corner from us. And it's a bakery, so looking forward to that, to see what comes in the bag and I shall show you once I have the goodies. So we're here and I'm just gonna check what time is my slot to pick up the bag because I just noticed that the charity shop 
the one and only charity shop that charity shop the only the one and only charity shop that I have here in this little town is open so it's between 14 45 and 3 p.m. okay so I only have 10 minutes so I'm gonna go grab the bag first and then we're gonna check out the charity shop that's my goodie bag and then I realized there's not one charity shop here but three they must have been closed last time I came to look at the charity shops because I did that to be honest I think it was in December that I came with the purpose of looking at the charity shops and I think back then only one was open one of them only had like one shelf of books nothing special and they had like nothing the other one had quite a vast selection and then on the last one that I went which was the one that I was telling you earlier they have such a big selection selection of books and that was the shop where I bought the assistant slot last time and I really enjoyed that book so this time I got two books that were on my wish list and I checked on my goodreads to make sure I don't have them yet I got uh, playing nice by JP Delaney and this is like brand new the spine is not cracked nothing and it was £1.50 and then the other one I got, it's well used, was £1.50 as well it's The Catch by T.M. Logan which is an author that I only read one book from him but I have this idea that I want to read everything else because I love that one book but I haven't read anything else so here we are but this book is Look Away if you have a weak heart because this is the status of the spine I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera but it's even like bended it's cracked in so many places that it it's even curved yeah look how bended it is anyway and then the bag which was what we came here for it's a huge bag this was four pounds i think i paid for it i'm not sure i haven't looked inside but yeah i'll show you once we get home Have a look. Night Borhood Bakers. Oh, neighborhood bakers. Oh. First of all, I'm a bit disappointed. I mean, this is to combat food waste and it comes in a plastic bag, so we're combating one type of waste, but not all the waste. Oh my god, there's so much. Oh my god, full loaf of bread. Two full loaves of bread. I must say, I was kind of hoping for cakes. Okay, there's no lid. So this is what we got. This seems like seeded bread. And this looks quite good. Just regular white bread. Cheese and salad. Rustic baguette. Hmm? You need the sound it made. What? You needed the broadcast. No, what did it say? Do the broadcasting. Some sort of pastry. Hold on. I'm showing the people who got look too full of the bread. Ooh. Some roll of something. What's that? Ooh, I think that's the same as this one. It's like a cinnamon roll, I think. Some raisins in there. And there's this other thing. Oh, the Cornish pasty. Hmm? But like, it's quite a lot of food. It's a fucking Cornish pasty. What is it? Just tell what it is. It is a Cornish pasty. <laughs> What's inside? Is it sweet or savoury? Savoury. Okay. Why someone would ruin a perfect cinnamon, cinnamon roll with raisins is completely beyond me. Like, why, 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 why would you do that? No, I have to eat a cinnamon roll like a weirdo, like peeling the roll away so I can get the raisins that are between. Why would you do that? Josh had the other pastry. I mean, there's another more of these rolls, but then there was another pastry, the one that I was trying to show you. Inside, it had mashed potato and onion, and it was delicious. Okay, the hardest part of this whole thing is being away from YouTube and Instagram. <laughs> I don't know, I keep... Not, not I keep, no. I am actually being very good, but like yesterday I did it twice, and today I think I did it twice already so far which is I open YouTube and I just scroll through the videos and I'm like, oh, this seems interesting. Oh, this seems interesting. Oh, I want to watch this one. I want to watch this one. But then I watch none. So it takes me three minutes instead of three hours. We're going on to chapter nine, page 155. I mean, it's not a lot. I mean, look where I am. I'm not even halfway. But 
I'm proud of myself. I'm proud. I'm going to put it on my reading app just to see the percentage of the book. This reading app that I use, it's called Read More. And you can track all the books that you're currently reading and then you update the pages. Like when you add as currently reading, you put how many pages your edition has, so it's correct. So mine has 176 and now I'm just going to click update progress. You can also use it for highlights, like if there's any sentences or something that you like. You can take pictures or you can type it in. And I'm at 32%. Look at there in the corner. 32%. 323 pages left. I was weak. I watched the YouTube video. <laughs> I was reading. I'm not even at the end of a chapter. I was reading and then, oh, excuse me. I got distracted by the dogs because they were playing and they're still not that much friendly. So we have to keep an eye on them. So I got distracted by them and then I watched a YouTube video after and it's been like an hour or so. I'm on page 192. Oh my God, almost 200 pages. And look, I'm halfway through. Oh no, not yet, almost. Hold on, I wanna update the app to see the percentage. 40%, oh, okay. It's now 5 p.m. and I grabbed myself a coffee. I put two spoons of coffee in here to make it extra strong, to keep me extra awake. I'm not loving it, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it right now. I think this is becoming one of my favorite books. And there's so much I want to tell you about it, but I decided that I don't wanna spoil it because I want you all to go read this book immediately after finishing watching this video. It's, oh, it's so good. This is where I'm at at the moment, 57%. I have 200 more pages to go. This is so good. This is turn, taking a turn that I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting the story to go where it is, but I was so happy that we got there. And I have the feeling that this was exactly what I was needing to get me out of a reading slump. Now, I don't know if after reading this, my reading slump will be over, but I'm having so much fun and I'm so happy that I'm reading this. And I feel so relaxed and at peace with how happy I feel. And the reason why I feel that is just because I'm really enjoying the story. So I'm so happy I'm reading this book. And I haven't felt like this with a book for, I don't know, maybe over a year even. Because this year, I haven't read anything extraordinary. Even the two books that I gave five stars this year, yes, they were good, but they were not as bingeable as this is being. I'm loving this book. I don't see this being anything else than a five stars. I hope I don't get disappointed. It's time to have dinner. Here's what's on the menu today. We have rice, teriyaki chicken, carrot. It looks yummy. I don't know if it's good, but it looks yummy. Now, usually while I'm having dinner, I will sit in front of the TV and I'll watch the series that I'm currently watching, given that me and Josh don't have dinner in front of the TV together at the moment because of the dogs. So I started watching a series alone. Doesn't matter, I'm not gonna be watching it today because we are sticking to the plan of watching a related to space movie. So I just came on Netflix and I went to the movie Passengers, which is one of the space set ones that I love, and I looked for more like this. And there's a few here, and I think I'm gonna watch this one, Stowaway. A three-person crew on a mission to Mars faces an impossible choice when an unplanned passenger jeopardizes the lives of everyone on board. All right, so let's give this a go and see if it's any good. Oh man, why do I do these things to myself? I finished watching the movie. It's nothing special. Did I cry? Yes. These movies set in space, it always go wrong. Imagine being an astronaut. I mean, these movies are probably not accurate at all to how spaceships actually work and all that. But imagine being an astronaut, right? And every single movie about your job is with people dying. So the movie is nothing special. The ending, I wasn't expecting that to be the ending. I wasn't expecting to finish like this. So when the final credits rolled, I was like, wait, what is this it? And it kind of killed the mood for me, like the sad crying mood. 
But oh man, there was <laughs> heavy crying. Not heavy crying, I wasn't sobbing. But you know, like those big fat tears rolling down both cheeks at the same time and they just drip, drip, drip. <sighs> I loved it, I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> Regardless of like the quality of the movie and the acting, I love every single movie with the premises of being set in space. Why am I like this? I don't know. <laughs> I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme But I'll only tell you that I'm out of time I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of this And I wanna tell you straight just like it is You're watching me like you want me But you're still holding back, still holding back Honestly, you're annoying me With the way that you keep playing Show me your love like it is, like it is And open my I have no excuse for this I came to bed like 45 minutes ago and I've been scrolling on Instagram. I have no excuse, I should be reading. I have the book right here. I'm getting really tired. It is just past midnight. And oh, I think I'm gonna try and read one more chapter and then probably go to sleep. But try and read one more chapter just so I feel like I'm accomplishing my own goals. Hello everybody, good morning, happy Sunday. It's half 8 a.m. We are up this early because we are going for another puppy training session. Usually it's only on Saturdays, but last week we didn't have it because it was pouring down with rain. Then it ended up not being pouring down with rain, it was just fine. And yesterday was pouring down with rain and we had the training in the rain. So, very annoying. But today we are getting the replacement training from last week. And why we are having it today as well. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering What it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till You give me a sign Give me a sign Oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more You leave me hanging, begging for more Think that I'm addicted to this Can't resist to be a little risky and go For it cause I want you close I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering You know I'd do anything To be in your arms again So give me a sign it's half 1 p.m. and I've been non-stop around the house. I don't even know. I did so many things. I'm gonna finally get into this. I'm on chapter 19, page 308. Okay, can we just make a little break, have a little pause, just to see how good I've been at reading. Three, two days and I read 300 pages. The plan for today, obviously, is to finish the book. I'm sure the people miss you. They've seen Miku, but I haven't seen you in a while. How are you? How has your life been recently? Hmm? You feel very cute and adorable, as everyone can see. Easy, key girl. Are you enjoying having a younger sister? Is she annoying you too much? You've been very good recently with her, haven't you? Yes, you have. Good girl, Siki. Right, so I feel like I should tell you something about the book because this is a reading vlog, so I should discuss the book. However, I never know how to discuss books without spoiling them. And usually, if this was like a random book that I was reading, I would just spoil the whole thing just so I could share my emotions. But this one, first of all, I hope it gets turned into a movie. I mean, it must, it would be so cool. And second, I want you all to go and read it. I don't know how to speak about it without spoiling. We're still following the two timelines, which are the current one where the guy is alone in a spaceship and he's slowly getting his memory back. 
he still doesn't remember everything, but he remembers much more than on the first day. Every day he remembers more and more. That's the main timeline of the book, right? Then as he's trying to recall certain things to be able to work on the spaceship, he then gets flashbacks to when the project Hail Mary actually started, what caused it and the investigations that they were doing on land in order to make it possible and why they needed this project to happen and how they arranged everything. So those are the two timelines. But the past one is through throwbacks. But when we get thrown back, it's told by him as well on the first person. So because those sections are usually quite long, they are equally as long, I would say, both of them, you kind of forget it's a throwback until you go back to the main timeline and then you're like, yep. And that, in my opinion, just makes the book feel even more realistic. And I had, I'm going to say it, I had the, f the same kind of feeling as when I read The Turn of the Key that was written in letters and it's written in such an amazing way that you forget you are reading letters. You think you're just reading the story. And here's the same thing. You think you're just reading the story, but in reality, you are reading a throwback and a memory, which is just excellent. The way that you realities connect and how you slowly put the puzzle pieces together and understand what was the goal of, of certain things that are in the spaceship, why were they there and how they got there. Amazing. It's very, very good. It's very science heavy. I don't know if the science is correct or not, but regardless, it does feel very smart. If you are trying to follow the science along, I feel like you might become a, a bit overwhelmed if science is not really the field you are into in your real life. You might become a bit overwhelming. So the way I'm doing it, I, I'm reading along the science bits and I'm understanding the explanations because like I said earlier, they do, because you are following him trying to think about the things and trying to understand what's happening, he's speaking to himself, so it's easy to understand. So it's easy to follow along, but I don't really try and question the science. I don't stop and be like, hold on, but how is this possible if earlier we said blah, 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 blah. I just ignore that part. Probably if you thought about it, you would probably be correct. What I'm saying is that I'm reading it in a more soft way. I'm understanding what's been explained, but I'm not thinking about it. This is in general how I like reading my books. I don't really like thinking about them. I just like to read and enjoy. If you are like that, you will probably enjoy this as well. If you're not, maybe you'll be a bit overwhelmed with all the science, but it's great and the explanations are great and the little things that happened. The story currently at page 300 is very different from what it was in the beginning. That's not what I mean. It's obviously still the same story, but things have changed. And if you read this book or if you've read it already, you will know what I'm talking about. The big main plot of the story is no longer the same. It is, but not really. But I don't want to say anything else. I don't, I don't want to say something that I'm going to be giving away a hint or something without realizing, because I want you to be as surprised as I was when that thing started happening. And that thing is now kind of the main focus of the story and I'm loving it. I do believe that some people will not, I don't know, but I am loving it. It's a really good book. I am having lots of fun. And I do believe we have been here chatting for enough time and it's time to go back to reading. So I'll give you an update later on, a few more chapters in. Oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more talking to you. Here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I want to go all in. So give me a sign. I just want to let you know I could go for this. No more tricks. We could take things slow. Say you think about it too When the lights go out and there's no doubt That I should be with That I should be We've been on and off again and again Alright, it's dinner time I was looking for a space movie to watch There's this one, The Midnight Sky It says, in the aftermath of a global catastrophe A lone scientist in the Arctic races to contact a crew of astronauts with a warning not to return to Earth. 
from 2020, George Clooney. Okay, I'll give this a go. Let's see what happens. I'll show you my dinner as well, in case you're curious. Chicken, potatoes, spinach, tomato, yum, yum, yum. That movie... It was bad. <laughs> it was very bad. I watched the whole thing, but like halfway through, I was like, why am I watching this? Why am I wasting my time? But I told myself I needed to keep watching, just in case it suddenly got good. But I didn't like it, not because the acting was bad. The acting was bad. Not even the plot. I honestly think it was just the dynamic of the movie and like the picture and how, I don't know, it seems very futuristic. It, for some reason, the spaceship they were at just reminded me like Star Trek or I don't know. I've never watched that, but it had that vibe of like very futuristic and very non-realistic and everything is very minimal. Everything is a touch screen. There's no buttons anywhere and everything is flat surfaces. Gorgeous but doesn't transmit that feel of a spaceship to me like other movies like the one i watched yesterday do i like the vibe of like metal and screws and things that break that's what i like in a spaceship i like it to feel authentic not that i know how a spaceship actually looks inside but i like thinking that yes it's probably a accurate good representation and this one today didn't then on top of that the story was very eh, so definitely don't recommend i don't even remember the name of the movie midnight sun no that's the book of Stephanie Meyer. i don't remember it had an interesting plot twist at the end very predictable i'm sure that lots of people see it coming i didn't because once again i don't really think about the stories but yeah that's done i've watched the movie <laughs> Maybe I should have just rewatched Interstellar because that would for sure have been better. But here we are. I have one hour and a half left on my audiobook for the book. For the book. This is where I'm at, nearly at the end. I cannot believe that I read this whole thing. Okay, not yet. Let's not celebrate that yet. I have one hour and a half left. It's 10 p.m. So I'm going to read for one hour, get in bed, and then in bed I'll read the remaining book. Fingers crossed. That's my plan. That's what I want to do. And I'll talk to you possibly at some point later on or tomorrow to wrap up this vlog. I have reached the point that I wanted, which is when I have half an hour left on my audiobook. The difference is that it's much later. It's now 11.53 p.m. and I wanted to have reached this by 11 p.m. But, you know, tonight was the Euro final. They went into penalties and I was watching the penalties with Josh. <laughs> and we had to pay attention to the dogs, take them to the garden, all that. So there's been some distractions but I have now been reading. I only have a tiny, tiny bit left. I'm so proud of myself for actually pulling this off, but we will celebrate at the end. We are very clearly approaching the end of this story. We have now entered the last section of the story and it's very marked down that the narrative is about to change from now on. There has been a plot twist that I wasn't expecting, but I really appreciate it. It made everything much more interesting and I am definitely very curious to know how this is all gonna end because that has been on my mind since the very first page because of the way the story is conducted. I was like, how are they gonna end the book when the story is this? Now things changed a bit, so now I'm even more curious, still loving it. Now towards the last bit, I do think the science got a bit boring in the way that I just wanted to know what was happening and they kept like explaining as per usual, explaining all the discoveries they were making. And I was just like, come on, sorry, I just want to know what they're going to do. Just do it, just do it. So I think that's why it was getting a bit boring. It was still very interesting, but I was just super curious to know what was going to happen next. I'm going to get ready for bed and then finish reading the book in there and I'm super excited for this and I'll probably talk to you tomorrow because then I'll probably be in bed with Josh, I don't know, but I'll speak to you at some point to wrap up this vlog, this amazing weekend vlog. I had so much fun doing this. I feel so relaxed and contented. I feel like this weekend was exactly what I was needing in my life to de-stress, have some good time, have some fun and it was just so good to discover this story but also i had time to watch two movies and i just i really enjoyed this weekend and i'm really happy and i hope the ending of this book doesn't disappoint me but we are about to find out that very soon
Hello, good morning. It's Monday, the day after this amazing reading vlog. No, the day after the amazing weekend. Hello, good morning. I finished this book last night. It was like 1 a.m. and I needed to sleep because I'm working today. But what is sleep when you have like three chapters left, am I right? I'm giving it a five star, surprising no one. The ending, I was... I don't know, I think I was very satisfied with the ending. I didn't see it coming, the way it finished. And like I mentioned, I was very curious to know how were they gonna finish this story? Like the way the story was heading, like what was the solution? It was a bit heartbreaking, but at the same time, it was so wholesome. Yeah, I almost teared up at some point. It was just, it was so cute and oh. I am a person that every now and then I have emotions and feelings, not very often, but every now and then. And I think last night was one of those cases. So I was literally reading this book and, oh God, five stars. Like I said, I wish I could tell you more about this book, but I can't because I don't want to spoil it. I want you all to immediately go read this book, even if you don't like sci-fi. I don't like sci-fi. Have you ever seen me talking about a sci-fi book or movies or anything? No, because I don't like it. But this book, I think it's written in a way that even non-sci-fi lovers will enjoy and appreciate, or at least I hope you do. I hope you give it a try. I know it's a big boy, but listen, if I can read this in three days when I have a reading slump, so can you. So let's give it a go. The audiobook is very good as well. It's always narrated by the same person. But if you listen along to the audiobook, you will appreciate certain parts here in the middle that I don't want to tell you why you'll appreciate them, but I'm sure that when you reach them, you'll be like, oh, I'm sure this is what Manganet was talking about because it's so good with the audiobook going along. I'm so happy. Like I was saying yesterday, I feel like this weekend was what was missing from my life lately this enjoyment and the excitement about a story either being a book or a movie and in this weekend i had both i got to read this amazing book i got to read to watch two movies one of them was not that amazing but it's still something that i don't do often i don't just sit on a sofa and watch a movie so it was great doing it twice in a weekend i don't know in a way it feels like a treat yourself kind of weekend and I'm just really happy it happened and I'm really happy I got to share it with you all and this vlog is probably huge by now so I'm gonna shut up I'm gonna go don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment down below and yeah I'll see you on my next video read this and now I kind of want to read the other books so this author I know I already said goodbye but you know I'm all over the place as always so this author Andy Weir He's the author of The Martian that I've never read, but I watched the movie. But he also wrote another book called Artemis. It says here on the little cover, he has a blurb from The Guardian that says, does for the moon what the Martian did for Mars. So do I want to read Artemis now? I think I do. So let me know if you'd be interested in another weekend vlog where this time I would be reading Artemis. I'm not even sure how to pronounce this word, but maybe we can spend another weekend together and read that book and watch a couple more movies or maybe this time we'll watch some more series. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that if you'd like to have that vlog as well and if you have any ideas of things that I could do uh, on that vlog like regarding other content besides books. Let me know if you have any suggestions or I don't know. Talk to me in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Please go read this book. It's so good. And if this has been confirmed to be a movie already, please someone let me know because I'm always late for all the parties and I don't want to be late for this party. I want this to be a movie. It'd be so cool. Okay, go read this. Bye!